Double Snap Productions and I'm going to show you how to make your own lens flare effects. The first thing you need is black poster board used as a backdrop. Next you need some flashlights, it doesn't matter which kind. The third thing you need is a camera to stick on the tripod facing the backdrop. Once your lens flare studio is all set up, you'll have to wait till it's dark out. Okay, it's about 9.30 at night right now, and I have the whole studio set up, and we're ready to get started. So right now you can't see anything, because you're just looking at the black backdrop. Before you start, you need to clean off your lens to get the best effect possible. To create a lens flare, just aim the flashlight at the side of the lens. After a few videos and photos, you're ready to import to your computer. Okay, so now that I've finished importing, I made all these different folders for the lens flares. I could go into the photo folder, and here's just some of the lens flares we made. So what we're going to make today is this cool um, star field effect in Final Cut Pro. You saw in my intro, I made this. This is just one part of my intro. I have this cool effect, and this one I'm going to show you how to make. So I made a new project, and I had this cool background that's just still shooting out. And I made this on After Effects, but this is what we're going to use for the example as the background. So we're going to do all of the um, special effects with the lens flares in motion. So how we're going to do that is we need to open up a motion project. So select the clip and choose File, Send to, Motion Project. And that's going to ask me to name it, and I'm going to add Motion and click save. Okay, so now it's launched motion and here's the same star um, video. So I'm gonna open up my project window and here it has a group which has this effect in it. So I'm gonna name this group. I'm gonna call it star field. And then I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna add some lens flares to this. So I'm going to import about five different photos and maybe a few videos. So I'm just going to skip through that real quick. Okay, so I've imported some different lens flare effects. And the first one I'm going to show you how to key out is this cool video of the lens just, the flare just sweeps by. It's like a cool transition. So the first thing you need to do is add filter, color correction, contrast and then go to the inspector under filter stretch to contrast and then go to the property menu and change the blend mode to screen so now it takes away 100% of the black so now it's it's just see through so I'm just going to copy this effect on all these different photos so I'm just going to do that real quick Okay, so I did the same effect to all the different lens flares. So now I just need to scale them so they fit to the window. So I need to zoom out. Now this first, this first clip right here with the, the lens flare right here, that looks good. But this one, let me turn the other ones off. This one I need to scale it out so it fits. And this, I'm going to have it come down from this corner, so I need to flip that. And this one, it's kind of like too bright here. I just need to scale it out that way. Looks better. And then this one... I'm going to have this come from this side. So if I turn these back on, and we go to the beginning, 
That looks cool. There's the star field effect and all those cool shining things. So once that's done, we need to send it back to Final Cut Pro. So choose File, Export. And then I'm going to keep the name and choose Export. Okay, so it's finished exporting. So you can see I saved it to my folder. Let's see, there it is. So I need to put it into Final Cut Pro. And I could delete the old style field thing. So now the last step is to bring in the color. So I need to choose File, Send to, Color, and keep the name but add Color. So it's going to launch Color and here's the video, it's on the timeline. So we need to do some color corrections. So the first step to do is to stretch the overall contrast. So in the Luma curves, brighten the whites and darken the blacks a little. And then I need to go to the secondaries and go to the saturation curves and brighten, saturate everything. Except I need to desaturate the reds a little and then I need to desaturate the blues so that's good there's off on maybe desaturate the reds a little So that's a cool adjustment. So now I can raise the red channel just slightly, just like barely. So that looks like it's done. So now I need to send it back in the Final Cut Pro. So go to the render queue and add all. And then I need to start the render. So I'm going to skip through this. So now that it's finished, there's this green ball that appears under it. So that means I can watch it. So now it's done, so I just choose File, Send to Final Cut Pro. Then you go back to Final Cut Pro, and I'm gonna open up my browser window. So it's gonna open up Final Cut Pro, and then it'll create an identical sequence called From Color. So I'm gonna drag that into the timeline. And you can see this is the exact same video we just did, but it has the color effect, so it goes from that to that. So now I'm going to delete the previous one. So now we're done. Here's the video. Um, thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to Double Snap Productions. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Um, thank you. Bye.